This week on Property Matters, the best deals from beautiful Bangalore. Confusion over parking charges? We try to find out if you should still be paying for a parking space when you buy property. And we continue to bring you some of the most beautiful houses in the country. Hello and welcome to a brand new edition of Property Matters. This is your complete, your most definitive guide to the world of property investments with me, Vikram Oza. Now call it Garden City, Silicon Valley, Bengaluru, Bangalore, call it by any name. This is one city in the country that never fails to impress. In fact, Forbes magazine has listed it as one of the fastest growing cities in the world, which means the property market over there is a buzz. So in Realty Trend this week, my colleague Samira gives us the complete lowdown on Bangalore and what makes it so enticing as a property destination. <music> Wonderful weather, lush green gardens and a vibrant lifestyle. This is what makes Bangalore a great place to live in. Each year, a growing number of people are investing into the idea of Bangalore which has led to rapid urbanization of the city. Adding to that, a growing number of job opportunities and realty is truly booming in Bangalore. 2010, which was supposedly the recovery year, was actually the boom time in the commercial real estate market in uh, Bangalore. Having done close to about 10 million square feet, one can uh, you know, safely assume that it has a ripple effect on the residential market, on the retail market, and all the other associated services with the real estate. Bangalore is the third most sought after property destination in the country and different pockets within the city are catering to an ever-growing demand for residential properties. Areas that are in close vicinity of Outer Ring Road, Whitefield, Electronic City and Bellari Road are turning out to be some of the property hotspots of the city. What's common to these areas is their proximity to IT hubs of the city. The property market in Bangalore is primarily driven by end users, with young professionals from the IT and BPO sector leading the pack. Bangalore is uh, pretty high in uh, the youthful index uh, of uh, the um, employable uh, workforce. So there are uh, you know, aspiring uh, young uh, uh, professionals who would uh, weigh between uh, taking uh, a rental accommodation or buying an accommodation. Not long ago, the residential landscape of Bangalore was dominated by independent bungalows that were sprawled across the city. But today, we see mid-rise apartments being developed across most localities, adding to the infrastructure wars here. While there is a significant amount of infrastructure development taking shape, the city is failing to keep pace with the rapid pace of urban development. The urban development has grown at a phenomenal rate in uh, Bangalore. And uh, uh, you know the challenge has been to keep up uh, with the pace of urban development. The infrastructure is uh, lagging, it is wanting. One hopes that it covers up uh, the distance soon. Post the slowdown, property prices in Bangalore have been growing at a steady pace. So if you have been thinking of putting your money in Bangalore, then this is the right time to do so. Personally, I've always loved Bangalore. The city's got a great vibe and the weather's great almost throughout the year. So if you're looking for a space in that part of the country, then my colleague Samira has been putting together the list of the hottest properties available over there. Here are the top picks. The landscape of the Garden City of India is changing. Once regarded as a pensioner's paradise, Bangalore is now being touted as the most required property destination in southern India. Be it affordable, mid-segment or luxury, you can find a host of properties being developed here. Our first pick from the IT City is Value and Budget Housing Corporation's flagship project, Vebhava. Brainchild of Emphasis founder Jerry Rao, 
Vaibhava is a one-of-a-kind super affordable project in the city. Located in Anikal, this project is 5 km off Hoso Road and 11 km from the Electronic City, which is home to a number of IT offices. Vaibhava was launched in August 2010 and apart from studios, you can find one and two bedroom apartments here. The super area of these units will range between 354 to 640 square feet. As per amenities, the developers are offering 24-7 security, a gym, healthcare facilities and more. The price of these properties will range between 4.5 to 10.3 lakh rupees. Our next pick takes us to the Electronic City, which is home to a number of IT offices in Bangalore. Our pick from here is Neo Town by Patel Realty. This area is 16 kilometers from the heart of Bangalore and located just off Hosur Road, which has good connectivity thanks to a new elevated expressway. Spread across 120 acres, this integrated township has studios, one, two, and three bedroom apartments on offer, which are spread across various communities. The super area of the units range between 360 to 1400 square feet. New Town will offer an inclusive lifestyle which will include amenities such as commercial and retail spaces, schools, a health centre and more. Prices here start at 8.62 lakh rupees and will go up to about 31.49 lakh rupees. Our third pick from Bangalore is Wellworth City, an affordable housing project by Provident Housing, a subsidiary of Purvankara. A 15 minutes drive from Yalahanka Junction on the Yalahanka Dodabalapur main road will bring you to this 44 acre development, which has easy access to NH7 and Bangalore International Airport. At Wellworth City, you have two and three bedroom units available. The super area of these homes will range between 845 to 1180 square feet. The developers are offering amenities such as 24-7 security, video door phones, a gym and more. Prices here will start at 15 lakh rupees and go up to 24 lakh rupees. Our next destination is the Outer Ring Road, also known as ORR. ORR is one of the prime growth corridors in the city, which connects Bangalore to major highways in the city. Our pick from here is Mantri Espana, a luxury project by the Mantri developers. Located near Belandur, this project is 13 km from the electronic city and just 5 km from the old airport road. These Spanish-styled apartments are available in 3, 4 and 5 bedroom options. The apartments vary between mid to super size with super area ranging between 2635 to 10,245 square feet. Amenities on offer are five swimming pools, a nine-hole golf course, a clubhouse and more. These apartments would cost you upwards of 1.7 crore rupees. Our final pick from Bangalore is White Meadows by Prestige Developers. This project is located in Whitefield, which is home to the International Technology Park and is well connected to other destinations such as Marathalli and the Outer Ring Road. At Prestige White Meadows, you can either pick from Sky Villas or independent bungalows. The super area of these homes will range between 5,576 to 12,066 square feet. The development will include amenities such as a clubhouse, a home automation system and individual swimming pools for some of the properties. The cost of finding a property here will approximately range between 3 to 8 crore rupees. If you are looking to park your money in Bangalore, then these are some worthwhile options for you to consider. Bangalore is buzzing as a property destination. Now, that city is coming up in a big way. If you still have questions on your mind, don't forget our email ID. You can pipe across your questions to propertymatters at utvmoney.com. But for the moment, we're taking a small breather here on the show. Up on the other side, to pay or not to pay. What's the complete picture on parking charges for your property? We'll tell you in just a bit. Don't go away.